Right. That's hopefully. Oh yeah. Kind of need Steam to be open. I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, drop frames. Uh, come on. Fucking technical problems. Come on. Okay. And, uh, installed. Yep. Called Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. And let's get this started. Hopefully everything will work out fine. Would have the camera on for this, but the internet connection sucks, so you probably receive an incredibly lower, dramatically lower frame rate if I did. Same reason why I don't have the stream actually open on my end, because that'll eat into things as well. Anyway, let's get this thing started and go. Let's switch the light off, get the full atmosphere. Now, if you haven't played this before or haven't even watched a let's play of this before you'll notice a few really creepy moments particularly in the um, back ambient sound I've only played a bit of this so I'll basically say what point? Well, essentially, I'll be saying when everything is new to as new to me as it is to all of you. Cthulhu will occasionally manipulate graphics, sound, and controls in an unusual way. This is perfectly normal, and it is in unlikely to be a problem with either your game disc or your sanity. bit cheesy but that is also a bit unsettling and I've never been able to read this maybe I can this time horror the true horror that paralyzes the mind and sears it with nightmares I am damn typeface is too difficult to read The soundtrack top tries to deafen me every time I open this. It seems to be a symptomatic problem of the game that you keep having to rejig the sound. And there we. Yeah, we've already got the evil. Huh. We hear. Right. Yeah. I said it would get creepy, uh so new game. Uh unfortunately I can't go any harder than that, but let's go private investigator. I don't want you to be bored by things being easy for me. What's was it a dream? I cannot say. Well 
That's really helpful. Well, you can all watch back on it and see what it actually now, said. At my end, I can fully see. My last case opened in me a new fear, a real fear, a fear of myself, of what I am, and of what I've always been. And with All that I was is now lost. Hope, purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. So a bit like I a John Prescott speech. Between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. Magma, lava, that sort of thing. Oh, bug eyes. I think that's blood. But knowing insane asylums in the 20s, it's hard to say. And we open with attempted suicide. Yeah, that's the sort of game we're letting ourselves in for. Don't ask me to read that. It's just what he said earlier. It really would help if you actually slowed things down so the player could read this. Six and a half years ago. So in the middle of the First World War. Robert, this had better be good. What's the beef? Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any Victor. He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. So it's They've 20 or about that town, number. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the locals scared. So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds, when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? Eh, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. Lead the way, Robert. I better check out this crazy gang of yours. And here we get to the actual gameplay. Well... I, it's taken longer for me to get to actual gameplay. I mean, Final Fantasy XIV, god damn. What's taking him so long? Something must be wrong. I think... Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. But they're cultists. They were born twitchy. What the... Oh, fuck's sake. There we go. 
Yeah. Uh, I can never remember. For fuck's sake. Uh, what? What button is it? Um, uh, just set. Oh. Fuck's sake! Don't tell me it's crashed. Uh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's just typical. Of course it would crash right when I'm doing a let's play. Let's try that again. I'll just skip through what I've already done so you don't have to watch that all over again. Yeah, yeah. Fuck's sake. That's just taking the piss. Investigator, yeah. Uh, key configuration. Uh, action S. Why S? Let's get that to the right. Um. Okay, so we can't. Unfortunately. At my end, I can fully see. My last case opened in me a new fear, a real fear uh. of myself, of what I am, and of what I've always been. Well, we've discovered a major problem with the game. Lost. You oh, cannot purpose, skip the cutscenes. Oh, of course. I now walk in the shadows between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. Well, it looks like blood, but uh, I don't know. He may have some very unfortunate toilet time. I swear it's always some very deformed hunchback type that's the porter for these sorts of in insane asylums. It's just a curious... to the wise shield your eyes
No. Still can't skip them. Robert, this had better be good. What's the beef? Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any Victor. He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the locals scared. So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds, when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who we got out here? Eh, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. Lead the way, Robert. I'd better check out this crazy gang of yours. Let's try not to crash this time. It easy. We're wide open here. It's okay. I've got you covered. I don't like this. Something's not right. Something's not right. Nothing's right about this. Well, it's good to know someone sees sense in the states. Evening, Jack. What we're Glad all thinking. You the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. Who's got you covered, though? Try to stay calm. You better hurry, Jack. Oh, Lord, I hate blurry vision. Now, as with most Call of Cthulhu uh, games, you don't do a lot of fighting, at least not in the opening bit, and if this game has any sense, you won't at most points, because fighting the horrors generally not a good idea. The board has been used to illustrate a diagram. A non-Euclidean one, probably. As I continue to translate the narcotic fragments, I become more and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. These beings truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. Well, you're American, so that could be anyone. I know how insignificant mankind is in the universe. A doomed and simple species thrown up as a side effect of an experiment by the elder things. It is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. You're not just going to kill everyone. That simple strange. Looks almost like a flaming eye. I should take a closer look. Mm. Or you could not. Kill them all! Reminds me of the cover of the original Diablo. This blasphemous image makes me feel uneasy. depiction of some alien creature. And of course the obligatory lots like of eyes. Eye. 
but the rest of the painting has no real shape. It has shapes, just not ones that are normal. It's locked. Of course. Die, you pathetic... We won't do what you it's command. Locked. Starting to be reminded of certain uh, older games where it goes another At locked last. door. <gasps> yes, it's me, strange, me many tattooed you guy. Seem to recognize me? I don't get it. His body is covered in tattoos. And they were carved into his flesh with something sharp. Well, yeah, you generally carve things with sharp stuff. The body's still warm, but he's definitely dead. Of course it's still warm! He only died a few seconds ago! Empty ammo boxes and spent shells. Nothing useful. An old wardrobe. Thank you, Captain Obvious. What a nut house. The walls have been covered with glyphs. What a nut house. Uh, the walls have been covered with glyphs. My bad. And I can't see shit, Captain. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. Ah. We've been expecting you, Mr. Walt. Well, that's just dandy. Damn. He recognized me. And it sounded like he was going to get on the level with what's going on in this joint. Damn. He recognized me. And it sounded like he was going to get on the level with what's going on in this joint. Hmm. A key. This should help downstairs. He's dead. Looks like a bad case of lead poisoning. But dumb tish. It's too heavy to move. No shit. I can't open it. Poisoning by the looks of it. Someone drunk the Kool-Aid. They're all dead. Dave. Oh god, blurry vision. Suicide. Or rather, mass suicide. These nuts had some serious issues. I can't open it. I'm trying to open the book, you dolt. He's dead. They're all dead. You just said that. It's an old stove. Again, thank you, Captain Obvious. diary. This will make interesting reading. Yeah, um... Just to give you an idea... Um... Diary of a cult member? You have been... Watching him now for two months, 
I can feel my anticipation growing as the day of contact draws near. Victor has not yet divulged his final plan for bringing Mr. Walters to us. All I know is that we must succeed. Yes, silly voice is totally necessary for these people. The sermon today was inspiring. Victor enlightened us with the with a story of the great race transcending the bounds of time to visit his dreams of the conscious things on this earth and in the ocean depths. We are but servants to a greater design. I can only hope that my faith during these last days will win me favor when our masters step through the gate. The experiments below have claimed one more of our order. Another volunteer is needed, but many are willing. We are truly blessed through our faithful service, now that his coming grow grows so close. The preparations are complete, and Victor's plan is in motion. We will arrive soon. Surely by now he must suspect his true nature, or at least question the nature of his gifts. He has come. Finally it begins. So yeah, that gives you an idea of the shit we're dealing with. It's a bit creepy. Uh, oh, wait, oh yeah, go downstairs, unlock one of the doors. Is it this one? It's locked. No. It's unlocked. You don't need to make a running commentary every time you do something. I don't understand. I mean, all of these photos. Someone's oh. got a stall car. There must be some kind of mistake. Why would they want me here? It must be an old case. Something I've forgotten. Some screwball with a grudge, maybe. Think. I've got to think. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, there's also the sound of your beating heart all the time. Nothing of interest. Another key. This should fit the door across the hall. Hopefully. All these photos and clippings are of me. I just don't get it. What the hell is going on? It seems they've been tracking my movements. As it stands, I have no idea how this ta ties into the rest of the game because it seems quite disconnected. Fire is still burning. That's not what I was looking at, but okay. Um, is there anything else? Anything? Anything at all? Nope. What a nut house. The walls have been covered with glyphs. Okay. It's unlocked. Yes, yes. You don't need to keep saying that, dear. It appears to be a private study area. Oh, yeah. It appears to be a private study area. It appears to be a private study area. Pick up the... There we go. The drawer holds an ancient manuscript. The symbols on the front seem to be written in classical Greek. My one key question is, how does a... There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. You're a profession... You're a cop, and yet you don't recognize when people are groaning in agony. Wow! For nutcases, they seem quite literate. Depends what kind of nutcases they were. These books are really old, and most of them are in strange languages I don't understand. And yet you understand classical Greek. I don't have time to read. I'm a detective, not a pen pusher. A detective who understands classical Greek. Yeah, think. Well, that's just swell. <laughs> well, 
the only way to go is down and not get crushed medical charts on the human anatomy this sink would be used for scrubbing up you can tell we we're in the 1920s and oh dear Dead god bodies and plenty of them something dreadful has been going on down here from the markings he must have been one of their own i wonder if he volunteered It's an obscene phone call. Seems like these cabinets are used for storing chemicals and medical equipment. No shit. Seems like these cabinets are used for storing chemicals and medical equipment. And here we get the really creepy shit. There we go. Yeah, that happened. Uh, at least he's out of his misery. And if you were wondering what's going on here, there's his, his brain. His brain stopped moving. His intestines have stopped moving. His kidneys have stopped moving. His heart has stopped. His lungs and his stomach stopped moving. Ugh. So yeah, whatever they were doing here. There's no power. And the I'll take that. Still warm. Yep, it would be. I, I can't see shit. Oh god. This tunnel feels like it's gonna collapse at any moment. And here we go. It looks like something's been removed from it. There's no power. Ah! It's too hot to pick up. It looks like something's been removed from it. And... It's too hot to touch. I think it's being used as a power source for the machine. And here we go. And here comes his first psychological break. As I said, cover your eyes with this game. It, it likes to blind you. After pitching you in darkness for ages. <gasps> yeah, so that happens. Loading. Techno loading. Well, I suppose not techno jazz loading. It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. Strange? That's all you can describe me, it as? It was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. Yes, that's all it was. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. 
Why are we recapping stuff that we've just played through? According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum, where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told no one else. Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. Oh, it's written by Stan Lee. A missing person. I don't take that kind of job. D did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. from the bin. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Uh, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Ryan Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast. Not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... J <sighs> what the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. And here goes... even more weirdness. I have a new client, Mr. Arthur Anderson, the regional manager of the First National Grocery Store chain. It appears that the First National Grocery in Innsmouth, which I should definitely avoid because it's Innsmouth, was recently burglarized and its manager, one Brian Burnham, also a relative of Stan Lee, is missing. From what I have been able to gather, Burnham is something of a young rogue, a friend of the family, Mr. A Mr. Anderson, gave him the job as a favour. Some favour when it's in Innsmouth! Burnham is looking like the prime suspect for the robbery, but there are a few things that don't add up. Not to Anderson and not to me. For instance, why would Burnham force an entry into the store when he had a full set of keys, free access to the cash register, and the combination to back to the back office safe? Well, I can think of a very logical reason to dis to distract suspicion from him. Simple as. As it said, to misdirect any investigation? If that was his plan, why did he disappear? <laughs> well, that can be explained as well! Uh, 
Not very good investigator, it's seeming. Following my conversation with Mr. Anderson, I found out what I could about the ancient town of Innsmouth. For generations, the crumbling seaport and its people have been shunned by neighbouring communities, mainly because they're half fish. Outsiders are unwelcome there, and there are superstitious tales of a strange element in the town's oldest families. They are of mixed blood, so the stories go, whatever that's supposed to mean. The usual hick on prejudice, no doubt. No, it means they're half fish. After making... How do you not hear about the goings-on in Innsmouth? Seriously? If you're anywhere near it, and if you've been to Arkham, you should know Innsmouth out, inside and out. After making a brief visit to Innsmouth, my client came away distrustful of the local authorities. He isn't buying their line about Burnham, that Burnham robbed the place, and wants to know what happened to him. Only one bus goes to Innsmouth, God, it's worse than the 467 to Epsom, and tomorrow afternoon I'll be on it. It feels good to have a purpose after five months trying to break through my amnesia. I also feel a little apprehensive. Maybe it's the wild stories about the town, or maybe it's just because I haven't had a case in so long. Or maybe it's reasonable fear of a town of fish people. I mean nothing. I'm carrying around morphine. Okay. Jazz loading. Driver, how far to the stop? Almost there. I'll drop you at the town square of Innsmouth. Why lock the gates? Keeps out wanderers looking for work. We don't want no folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after her own. Stranger, end of the line. Feel like it's sloth driving me. That sloth would be a bit more friendly. A lot more friendly, in fact. There it goes. Creepy old hotel. Always a creepy a old. A dusty assortment of old books. Yeah. And a dusty assortment of old weirdos. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. Sots. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All we'll habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> That's Talking unsettling. This fellow's getting me nowhere, and he's more than a touch creepy. If I need a room, and I'm desperate, then I'll come back. Hmm. 
I don't know if that texture on his hand is because this is an old game or deliberate. Hello again. Yeah? I'm after directions to the First National Grocery Store. And I'm busy, so stop your pestering me with questions. Already Chit -chat I did. to him's gonna get me no place fast. Yep. Uh, An old grandfather clock. Everything in this hotel is going to be old. It won't open. It's locked. Of course it is. It won't budge. Oh, and if you think that there's any double meanings to him saying stop your snooping and there's for hotel staff only to him saying a horrid mess it's not really double meaning he's just saying there's a horrid I'm mess I'm looking for Brian Burnham can't help you that was it won't budge The sign says, Innsmouth Poorhouse, in memory of Lady Warns. Hmm. It's been a while since I last played the opening bit. So... That way is blocked by a police line. It's locked. It must lead to the back of a variety store. It seems like I'm floundering a bit. <laughs> floundering. Um, it won't budge. That's because I can't remember what I meant to do. You do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Please, stop bothering me, stranger. Stop it, you're bothering me. It won't budge. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked. Can rightly says I know him. It won't budge. Seems this grandiose structure is the esoteric order of Dagon. Wow! Not even trying to hide it. God damn! This statue commemorates the men who fought in the Revolutionary War. Intimate to her sons who died for liberty, 1775 to 1781. Would people stop walking into me? <coughs> oh, sorry. It won't open. Ugh. I don't know what the fuck that was. It won't open. Ah, you can't come down here. The police clearly don't want me snooping around. I need to be more careful. And here we get the first puzzle of the game. Trying to get... Oh joy, the, vo the voices have started. And the voices in the game have started as well.
This town's deserted. Where is everybody? Just leave me be, stranger. Says the guy digging through rubbish. Okay. It won't budge. So many people distrusting in this town. It's not like I'm gonna ransack their places. Oh wait. That's pretty much what I do in every game I play. It won't bite. Okay, it's fair to be distrusting of me. But even so... A storage depot. It's shut. No shit. Um... Right. It won't open. Uh, I know some of you are probably going, go the other fucking way, you dolt. Uh, fuck's sake, where the f Where did I go the last time? God, I can't even have good direction sense in a computer game. This is ridiculous. Evening. Oh my god, a normal uh, looking woman. My name's Jack Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss. Miss will do for now. Welcome to Innsmouth, Mr. Walters. Thanks, I think. Take my advice. Do what you must and then leave. Tonight, this port does not cater well to visitors. While I appreciate your concern, Miss, I can handle lousy hospitality. Very well, Mr. Walters. You'll regret it! This doll seems more open than some folks around these parts, but she isn't going to talk to me right now. Hello again. Mr. Walters. Look, miss, I only want a conversation. There's no harm in that, right? There's plenty of harm. It's not wise to be seen gossiping with outsiders. How about playing dumb for a few minutes? No. She's too frightened to talk to me. But this lady knows something. Everyone in this town knows something. They're all just not willing to... ...open up about it. Where'd, which way did I go down? Now, the thing about this game is it's very easy to die early on. Because the whole town hates you. And wants your guts. Not necessarily to eat or do anything. That loves the blood with a good wine piping, with a good wind piping early in the towel and scowl and smile. Ah, my boys, these are the joys of the noble and the brave who love a life in the tempest strife in the home of the mountain wave. When the driving rain of the hurricane puts the lights of the lighthouse out And the growling thunder sounds his gong And the whirlwinds battle out Ha ha! Who's that there? Who oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity Who are you? Zadok! That be my name Though too few years it now. Zedo Kellen! Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just the youngin. Worked over the store. He's gone. 
killed, I reckon. Probably. Killed. What makes you think that? Because it's Ends in smoke. from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? Ye just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. Hopefully with words and not... The timbers creak and the sea will shriek. It won't open. There's lightning, young, young blast. How to leave what my friend knows. The old drunkard knows something. I don't think it would take much to get his tongue wagging. I'm just gonna let that one slide. God damn this. So fucking dark. The door is bolted shut. The window's smashed. I can see what looks like an old dark room. It's a room used for developing photographs. No, I can't get into it. Oh. You can tell it's been a while. I can't remember how the fuck to... I remember getting into that room ages ago, but... This door? Maybe. 
It won't budge. Nope. I award you no points. It's unlocked. Yeah, great idea standing up. Assorted paperwork, but nothing of any real interest. Assorted paperwork, yeah, yeah, but nothing whatever. of any real interest. The till's empty. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest here. Looks like the door was forced open, and there's scratch marks on the wood. The drawer is empty. A typewriter, invoices and receipts, nothing of interest. The drawer is empty. The store appears to have been doing quite well under Brian. The store appears to have been doing quite well under Brian. Which gives further credence to the idea that he was murdered. It won't budge. It looks like I need some sort of lifting handle to get it open. It won't open. glass has been broken, and there's scratch marks on the wood. Strange. You're Why so would Brian force entry when he had a set of keys? You keep asking that, and there's a logical... Why would someone break in through the front? This makes no sense. Now, the breaking in from the front, that's the logical question. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. It probably leads down to a storage cellar. Of course. Well, that's... 
I got my pulse racing a bit. It looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues. Or it could be the diary of Kathy Lee, age six. Actually, let's investigate. Uh, diary of Brian Burnham. Well, I agree with the locals on one thing. I shouldn't be stuck in this miserable excuse for a town. I can see why nobody comes here, that's for sure. Another so day at the store. At first I thought people were staying away because First National isn't local. But local people. But I haven't seen anyone go into any other any of the other stores either. Come to that, I haven't seen the other stores open for business. This place is deader than dead. Maybe it's a zombie place. Still, it won't be long before I'm out of here. Before before we're both out of here, she's the she's the one good thing about Innsmouth. Well, we'll bust open an old man wait safe, take her car, and then it's New York City. Bright lights, nightlife, everything. I'll show her all of it. That's probably the woman you met earlier. <coughs> Ugh. Uh. There we go. Right. So, what else is there? Uh, uh, so, he had plans to break in. That's interesting. I may have played... I remember having to get away from that guy, but I don't remember any of this. Um, okay. Um, no. balls. Oh. Yep. Yep. Okay, so how do we get out of here? I can feel the air through holes in the brickwork here. I can feel the air through holes in the brickwork here. Ah! Well, that's one way to get out. <laughs> oh, God. Various chemicals and apparatus for developing photographs. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. There are some issues of the Innsmouth Courier lying here, and they're dated 1846. Good Lord. All right. Um, I think. Well, that's useful. The old printing press appears to have been sabotaged. What's a better way to pe keep people in ignorant? I don't suppose the fire helped it much either. <laughs> yeah, the that... old printing press appears to have been sabotaged. Nothing of interest. Nope, nothing of interest. General notices. They're all dated 1846. Nothing of any real interest.
Yeah, but I'm not going to open it just yet because I have stuff to look around. It won't budge. Of course. Newspapers lay scattered in molding heaps. And there's a hanged body. I would do something, but... Okay, the game's not frozen, it's just letting me focus on the hanged body. I really don't want to be... Ugh. Not entirely sure what to do. There's a bit of a problem here. I'm I'm pressing every button and the only two that are working are E and Q and that's just doing that. Um, I'm going to take a break and see if there's anything that I need to check. Uh, come back in about 10 minutes I might have some solution probably something I'm missing Typically, you've. This is going to be a bit of 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Well, turns out it's another glitch. Also turns out that there's nothing of any importance about her. She's just a hanged lady in that room. For fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about this, folks. Sake. Really? There we go. And continue. Oh shit. Um Ugh fuck. Sorry. Driver. How far did the stop? Almost there. I'll drop you at the town square of Innsmouth. Why lock the gates? Keeps out wanderers looking for work. We don't want those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Is Fishing. the means to look after her own? May need the worship of Dagon. Okay, I'm gonna cut straight to the point, seeing as you've all seen... This is a problem is with playing old the games, line. they glitch the fuck out. Especially if they're on Steam and they haven't tried to tackle these bugs. Uh. Right, time to run. Or at least saunter. Alright. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Waiting, waiting, why are we waiting? Of course we're waiting because the going to do that way you don't have to watch it won't open oh 
Rigorous viewing, I'm sure. Well, that was. There we go. It's unlocked. Yeah, yeah. Sorted paperwork, but nothing of any real interest. Yeah, we've had that. It won't budge. Looks like the door was forced open, and there's scratch marks on the wood. These scratch marks look like they were made by some kind of animal. Strange. Or fish person. Looks like the door was forced open, and there's scratch marks on the wood. A typewriter. Invoices and receipts. Nothing of interest. The store appears to have been doing quite well under Brian. The glass has been broken, and there's scratch marks on the wood. Strange. Why would Brian force entry when he had a set of keys? Why would someone break in through the front? These posters are everywhere. Maybe he lost his keys. Miracle cures? <laughs> More like some con trying to make a fast buck. Hey, it does happen. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. That way, that way, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Ow! Alright. Now let's hope this doesn't glitch the fuck out again. <laughs> Uh Whoever's down there, you can rock. Right, time to It looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues. Let's just read through the diary. Thieves have robbed the first national grocery store in Innsmouth, breaking down the door and forcing open the cash register. The newly appointed manager, Mr. Brian Burnham, has been missing since shortly before the robbery. This is a very disturbing turn of events, said Mr. Arthur Anderson, first national's regional manager, from his Arkham office. This branch has had only recently opened, and the First National Grocery had high hopes for its success, given the general lack of modern stores and amenities in Innsmouth. The robbery is a definite setback, and more worrying still is the fact that the branch manager remains unaccounted for. Innsmouth authorities could be not be reached for comment. Probably because they were going all going. <laughs> Um, right, let's see. Yeah, let's do that. <sighs> 
the various chemicals and apparatus for developing photographs. Old photos of Innsmouth, most of them have faded beyond recognition. There are some issues of the Innsmouth Courier lying here, and they're dated 1846. The old printing press appears to have been sabotaged. I don't suppose the fire helped it much either. Nothing of interest. Now let's just, hopefully it'll work this time. Okay, we have to do this, sorry. to work this time. I'm not going to bother with that room because there we go. Let's just sake. The police clearly don't want me snooping around. I need to be more careful. I'm sorry. This is getting a bit tedious, isn't it? for him to go back. It's unlocked. Now you'd think I'd qu my guy would question a bit more the fact that one guy can bash through a door and a bookcase without breaking a sweat. Looks like the door was forced open and there's scratch marks on the wood. The store appears to have been doing quite well under Brian. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. <gasps> You've got the sensation of deja vu. Oh well, probably nothing.
Hmm. Now, I'm not bothering with the hanged woman. Oh shit, I forgot the diary. like a diary. It's got to have some clues. There are some issues of the Innsmouth Courier lying here, and they're dated 1846. Various chemicals and apparatus for developing photographs. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. Yeah, yeah. That's a problem when you start new games. The old printing press appears to have been sabotaged. I don't suppose the fire helped it much either. Alright, not bothering with the hanged woman. General notices. They're all dated 1846. General notices. They're all dated 1846. No, 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 no. Let's finally get further in this game. Hello, Jack. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackey? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? You look too normal. <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They yeah, we believe me that. posted in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay. Maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. <laughs> you think? Alright, let's... Not doing that old oh, shit again! I love that he's described a suspicious stranger when you first meet him. Oh lord, this is where things get really... You better keep your trap shut. I won't tell him anything. Hmm. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Sorry, stranger. I can't help you. Mm -hmm. Do 
du di du di du du Here we go again. But this time I've got the alcohol. With a good windpipe in early in the towelings gallant man. Ah, my boys, these are the joys of the noble. Has he got a sprinkler for a dick? Who love a life in the tempest strife in the home of the mountain wave. When the driving rain of the hurricane puts the lights of the lighthouse out. And the growling thunder sounds is gone, and the whirlwinds battle out. Ha ha! Do you think that's the valiant shrink? No, no, we were bold and brave. And we love the fight in the wild midnight, in the storm of the mountain wave. The timbers creak and the sea. Huh? Who's that there? Oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that's been my name, though too few years it now. Zadok Allen! Do you know a Brian That's not Burnham? a name, that's a DC character. Super villain. The store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Thence from out of town running a store, taking business from the Order of Dagon. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? Ye just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young fella. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> now you be calling me crazy. Like them that star rumor in an anchorum in an Ipswich. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. <clears throat> old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that would answer their prayers. Thank God I've got the subtitles. I would not understand the Christian a word he's saying. Didn't object to such blasphemy? Aye, uh, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet, till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Ah. Uh. Not so much fishing, the just the fish. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. <gasps> Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy of strangers if we were known what was good to us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all this? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? 
You just that old waste about oaths of Dagon. I, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Wow. That's probably the most useful drunkard I have ever encountered in any game. Seedy looking bar called the garden. Unfortunately, it's shut. Uh. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And is there anyone in Innsmouth who doesn't know my name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence. And unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, Rebecca huh? Lawrence. Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. Oh! What? Okay, not Ruth her, Ruth. then. Quickly, you have to follow me. It's not wise to be seen talking to outsiders. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange. Trust me. I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must Wow, leave. that's metagaming to together. the core. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. And that's really useful, thank fuck for that! Whatever's watching me, I don't like it and I want it to stop. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Can't rightly see as I know him. You know, you all know more than you're saying. Hello, Mackie. Jack, swell to see you again. Any leads on the Burnham case? Nope. Did you know the lad at all? Just pleasantries. Seemed a nice enough fella, if a little rough around the edges. Strange business, though. I'd never have fingered him as a crook. The First National was a well-run store, a rare thing here in Innsmouth. Okay, Mackie. Thanks. Goodbye, Jack. Be careful what you're doing. Very careful. Innsmouth's a dangerous place. Not everyone who visits here ends up leaving by the old bus route. This Mackie character knows plenty, but I don't think grilling him for scraps of information is going to crack this case. Don't think many leave it won't open by the old bus route. In fact, I think that's one of the most uncommon things to happen. I think concrete blocks round, round the ankles are a more common way of leaving the town.
not sure what to make of that. <laughs> Uh, I wish there was a way to speed things up. I need to find the poor house. It won't open. It won't budge. Or oh, the ha the house that, uh, well, you'll see when I find it. Variety store. You've got your fish and you've got your octopi. That's the variety. Won't open. Uh, Cthulhu and Dagon, that's probably the case. It won't open. It's unlocked. Yes, we can see that, dear. Oh, Lord. This is where... You could have told me at the start! Right. If I see you without fire, I'll report your order. I'll not say nothing. So you will say something? Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Please stop bothering me, stranger. It won't open. Alright. It won't budge. It won't open. This is very much the game where you test all the doors. It won't budge. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? If you don't like it, just turn around and leave. It's the entrance to the town poorhouse. And this is where I get terrified out of my skin, most likely. Okay. Since old Lady Warden's passed away, the food is rotten, but we'll die soon enough. The only thing keeping my heart warm is the sweet promise of death. What are you looking at there, old timer? Nothing. I'm just looking. What you doing in old Warren's house, young feller? This hole is for the broke and the dying. I'm trying to find Dyer Street. And both. It's out back of the house. Everything in Innsmouth is rotten and dying. Windows boarded up, and all sorts of curious barking and crawling around black cellars and attics. How would you like to be living in a town like this, fella? Remember the great old ones? I don't think he's been out remembers. for years. He isn't going to know anything. This almshouse is home to the old and the destitute. These beds reek of sweat and urine. Sounds like the last festival I went to. This almshouse is home to the old and the destitute. You already said that, dear. Her sleep is restless and erratic. Uh, as long as it's not erotic. Ok, 
Because as we're well aware, people in Innsmouth... The old woman's dead. She could be worse. She could be dead and on a train. It won't open. Locked doors in... It won't open. Locked doors in a poorhouse. That's a novelty. Dock Street. Um. Hello. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Stop the bother with questions. Right, you're quite definitely a fish person. It won't budge. It won't budge. Won't budge. Oh, I am. Uh, I come up from there. Um, uh, oh, yeah, here we go. This is it. This is where it gets really bad. Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work and Mummy's upstairs in the attic. She's been bad. I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your Mommy for me? Nope. Mummy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love Mummy like I love my Daddy. And then now, now, now. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. Famous last words. And I know what happens. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest here. Can't see anything of use. A house plant. It won't budge. It won't open. You all hear the growling, don't you? Yeah. That's Mummy! It's a recent family photo. The corner's been torn off. I can only see Thomas and Ramona Waits in the picture. An old chest of drawers. Nothing of interest. It won't open. It won't open. The door's bolted shut. It won't budge. And you know why it's bolted shut? Well first, I'm going to talk to the little girl a bit more because I know what's about to happen. What are you drawing, Ramona? Pictures of Mummy and Daddy. What are you drawing, Ramona? Pictures of Mummy and Daddy. Soon she'll be drawing, but not in crayons. And I don't want to continue down this path, but I have to.
Yeah. My father had the answer. Looks like a diary. <sighs> yeah, I didn't what that's one of the failings of this game. You kind nope. of railroaded no into that happening. Nope, nothing of interest. Taking the last thing I loved away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston. That he was copped by the Order of Dagon. Of course. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with the crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the Order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combinations in my diary upstairs. Hurry, Jack! What the hell's in the safe, anyway? You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter. His own flesh and blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends must we handle things by the old ways. Yeah. It won't open. It won't open. You could have been a bit more specific about which door you meant, you buck. It won't open. Um. Ah. Oh, the variety store. Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. I don't trust He's you! He's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. 
What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police drag Waits off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Uh, guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah. I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. I don't trust you. I don't trust anyone anymore. That's a really awkward way to do things. Uh. Well, that was disturbing right um let's before we do anything else let's find a save point I, I think I saw some yeah there we go uh, yeah And oh, by the way, now we're past the point of me knowing anything that's going on, so we're both in the dark. <laughs> First National Grocery Store. Uh, where is that variety store? Ah, oh, there it is. It's a variety store, and it's closed. It won't open. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's unlocked. Let's close the door behind us. Close that behind us. You don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap! Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. And considering your recent break in and entering, how about I ask the questions? Have you any idea who I am? No, and I really don't care. <laughs> My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. <laughs> I'm from out of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billingham. That was huh. obvious. You're Brian's broad. That figures. 
Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth, the rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to Rowley. When you find him, give him this. He'll know it's from me. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest here. Can't see anything of use. It won't budge. Boxes of dead fish. What a stench. You didn't comment on the stench earlier. The variety store seems reasonably well stocked. Nope. Nothing important here. Um. I must have made a mistake. Okay. Sleepless night, I lay awake listening to the movements of that thing that I'm. Okay, so she was the mother. You? That I married pacing about her locked room. Damn the esoteric order of Dagon. Damn the oaths. And damn the town fathers for not hanging Obed Marsh when they had the chance. No, burning him. Him and his whole filthy clan. I wish I could just leave, abandon my sham of a marriage, leave the store to rot, and start a new life far, far away. But I'm trapped here. Every time I look at Ramona, I know it. Watching her sleep in her beauty and innocence, my heart feels like breaking. She has no idea of what she will become. Yesterday was her tenth birthday. The change cannot be far off. Her birth gave me such joy, so much that I still use the month, day and year as the four number combination for my safe in that order. Starting clockwise, it is as though I am trying to preserve that date forever and deny the inevitable horror. I sometimes think of killing her, an act of mercy before she starts to manifest the horror. God forgive me, but she is my daughter and I could never harm her. She is blameless in all this. Okay. What's the fucking date? 
When the time comes, Innsmouth will be the only place for her, and until then I must stay here to watch over her. It is my penance, my atonement for creating her life with her chosen mother, and she, after she joins them, if the grief does not kill me, my life will be my own once more. Not that I know how I will have the strength to go on without her. Okay, so... So... Um... Okay, so seeing as it's American dating... Yep. I must have made a mistake. I must have got something wrong. not right. Uh, shit. Right. Ah! That's not right. Oh. Two. Five. I must have made a mistake. That's not right. Two. Five. I must have made a mistake. I... Okay, let's... Okay, we know... Th month, day, and year. So we know the month... must have made a mistake. Two. Five. One. Two. That's not right. Oh. 
I must have made a mistake. Okay, let's see. Two. Six. One. Two. That's not right. Oy. You couldn't... Well... Okay. Let's see. What am I missing? Um... Why is then? <laughs> right, in that order, starting clockwise. So, two, six, twelve, I would presume, or two, four, tw you haven't, or two, four, eleven? Clockwise. That's not right. uh, yes, I know it's not clockwise. Uh, uh, right. Two. Six. That's not right. Must have got something wrong. Uh, fuck's sake. If I'm missing something, I don't know what it is. Um, two, six. One, two. Oh, there we go. Yes, that's it. Oh, that's convenient. The safe holds a heavily bound manuscript. The front is embossed with the words Book of Dagon. Dum dum dum. Right. After that frustrating rigmarole I'm probably gonna call it for now um, I'll be uploading the re the playthrough to YouTube in for the benefit of anyone who wants to watch it again or just prefers YouTube to Twitch or just didn't get to see it this time round um, I might do some later tonight, if not I'll probably do more next weekend, either next weekend or the weekend after, depending on how exhausted I am after MCM. Um, but yeah, that's been the first bit of 
Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. Sorry about all the <laughs> technical problems. Hopefully that didn't discourage you too much. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this peculiarity of a game. And it will probably get weirder and more terrifying as we continue. Especially if the technical er errors continue. Uh, good night, everyone.